This is Paul. Say hello, Paul. Now, Paul likes building WordPress websites, don't you, Paul? But what Paul doesn't like is dealing with updates, especially when updates like WooCommerce and Elementor come around. They are stressful. Paul doesn't like stress, do you, Paul? So today, I'm going to show Paul how to be less stressed. So the process we're going to look at today is what I've lovingly called the Fix Update Conflicts Today, or F-U-C-T. Hmm, maybe you need to rethink that acronym. Now, all joking aside, this is a very real problem if you work with WordPress and you have tools like Elementor or WooCommerce installed. Updates to those key integral parts of our site can cause real problems when something goes wrong. An update doesn't work correctly, there's some kind of problem with a third-party plugin, all manner of different things. So that stress is something that I personally want to avoid as much as possible. And yes, we should all use stage insights, and that would be great if we had the time to do that on maybe 50, 100, 200 sites. But the reality is we don't. Time is money. So what kind of solution do we have? Well, today I'm going to show you how we can take one of the key features of WP Vivid Backup Pro, it is the Pro version, and how we can use that to just help alleviate the stress when these updates come around. So let's take a look at how we can set that up and integrate it into our backup and staging processes. Okay, I've got a couple of updates I need to run now to make sure my site is up to date and as secure as possible. So first thing I wanna do is make sure that I've got everything set up inside WP Vivid Backup Pro. To do that, we're gonna just pop over to the plugin. We're gonna make sure first of all that I've got my cloud storage all set up. Now I'm currently using Dropbox this example, but you can use Google Drive, P Cloud, Amazon S3, or if you want to, you can use SFTP and FTP if you don't want to use a cloud-based storage system. I'm going to be using Dropbox this example, so I've already connected this up. Want to check out how to do that? Check out the video in the description below. Next up, I want to make sure that I've got everything configured to do the backups automatically when I make an update. So let's hop over to the settings section. Inside there, we've got this auto backup before updating section. Make sure that is enabled, and then you can choose where you want to save those backups. You can choose your cloud storage. You can have it go into a separate folder to use that for rollbacks, or you can save it to your local host if you want to do this just for speed. I would generally still recommend using an external folder just so you don't end up with a ton of backups you might forget to remove for whatever reason. Now, what this is going to do is this is going to make a backup of the theme or the plugin folder prior to the update. It's not going to take a full backup of your entire site. If you're concerned, then run a backup. And I would also recommend making sure you have an automated backup, whether that's done via WP Vivid Backup Pro or via your hosting company. Whichever method you want to use, always have daily backups if you've got a site that is operating and has a lot of information being added and so on. Once you've checked and made sure everything is in place, save your changes if you need to. We'll do that just to double check. And we're now ready to go and make those updates, knowing that we're going to have an automated backup of those particular folders should we need to roll back. Okay, so let's go and take a look at our updates. And now you see we have this first option that says auto backup before updating. You can choose where you want to save those to. It will default to what you've set to be your default option. And then all you need to do is go ahead and run those updates. So we'll just do exactly that. So we'll choose the plugins to start off with. We'll hit update plugins. And now you can see it's telling us it's making a backup of the following files and the database. So it's not just the files being backed up, it's the database being backed up as well to make sure that rolling back should be a painless situation for us if we need to. And there we go. We're now going through the process of sending those up to our remote server. If we're using that, if it's localhost, it will probably be just a little bit quicker. And there we go. Now it's going to go ahead and update the plugins as you'd normally expect to see as part of WordPress updates. And once that's finished, we can just go over to our WordPress update page. And if we've got any more updates, in this example, the theme, we can select that option, update our theme, and we're going to have exactly the same thing happen. It's going to automatically create those backups of the database, the files, send those over to the cloud server, update, and we're good to go. And there you go. We are now fully up to date with backups in place should we need them. Now, let's say that something has gone wrong and we need to restore things. How do we go about finding those backups to be able to restore them? Well, again, let's hop over to the WP Vivid plugin. We're going to go to our backups and restoration. And inside there, we've got localhost. If you set this up to store them on your localhost, you'll have all of your backups inside there. And you can display where these are manual backups, roll up backups, roll back backups, I should say, and so on. However, we've used remote storage. By default, this is just going to show you all of your remote storage. Currently, I'm looking at Dropbox and my particular account. 
But what we want is we want to change this over now to not full backups, just our rollback. So let's expand this option and just choose rollback. And all we need to do now is click scan, and that will then scan for all of those rollback uploads that we've got on our remote server or localhost if you're using it. So now if we want to, we can restore this from here. We can download these backups if we want to. We've got comments. We can see the file size, additional details. We can delete them if we get too many. This just gives you so much peace of mind if something goes wrong. Now, if you want to get more out of WP Vivid Backup, check out this video next. It's going to give you a ton of really useful information. Now, all the applicable links are in the description. And if you found this video useful and got value from it, why not give that thumbs up button a click? If you didn't get value though, well, hit the thumbs down button twice, as that seems to work pretty well too. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.